Hi guys, my name is Christine and today I'm talking about five habits that will keep you weak. So if you want to live an abundant life, if you want to live the life of your dreams, then there are some things that may be preventing you from doing that and keeping you in this very weak place. So I'm going to go through those five things that are going that are keeping you weak or could be keeping you weak. Okay, so the first one, and this is a big and obvious one, and it's one that I'm sure is blatantly obvious in your life if you do it, and that is a habit of procrastinating. Okay, if you procrastinate, you're not going to achieve your goals. Okay, if you keep on procrastinating, you're not going to make much headway in the things that you're trying to achieve. So you need to start realizing and finding a way basically to stop yourself from procrastinating. Okay, now sometimes it's okay to do a little bit of procrastination, but if it's something that's happening to you every day, if it's something that's happening to you every week, then obviously it's a huge problem and it's really affecting your life. If you procrastinate daily, it should be affecting your life massively, okay? So that's the first thing that will keep you weak, that will stop you and prevent you from achieving your goals, whatever your goals may be. Now, if you need a little bit of motivation, then I highly recommend that you watch this video that I made on motivation because that will give you more of a clear indication as to why perhaps you're procrastinating a lot, why maybe you're being a bit lazy. So please go and watch that if you are struggling with that and you feel like that is for you. So uh, the second habit that will keep you weak is if you believe that you know everything, if you believe that you know it all already, okay? Um, and the reason why that can keep you weak is because if you believe a certain set of things, but those certain set of things aren't true or they're not accurate, then you're going to make a lot of mistakes because you believe a certain way and you believe things are a certain way when actually they're not. And what you've got to realize is that life is very gray. There's no black and white here usually, right? It's very rare that you find a black and white sort of situation right? Life is very nuanced in that way. Okay, so there are many ways and many angles to look at things. Just like there are like hundreds and thousands of religions out there in the world, there are still hundreds and thousands ways of looking at certain situations. And a lot of them can be right, but also a lot of them can be wrong. So what you got to realize, and what you got to do is that you got to realize that, you know what, I'm saying these things, I'm doing these things, but you know what, perhaps there's a better way for me to do them. Or perhaps there's something I don't know. Perhaps there's a gap in my knowledge somewhere. Perhaps I've got a blind spot somewhere, okay? So being humble enough basically to realize that you don't know it all, that you don't know everything will make you a lot stronger. And basically, you know, what you should always be doing, especially if you're a professional and you've got a specific field that is, um, you know, part of your life and really important to you, then you've got to be researching that almost all the time because especially if it's something very scientific or something to do with like psychology or something like that, because there's new studies coming out for these or loads of different areas all the time. So you should be keeping yourself up to date with the current trends, with the current knowledge, um, instead of just basically using the same old formula that perhaps you've always used in the past, okay? So that's another thing that will keep you weak if you believe that you know it all, okay? Because it's very unlikely that you do. Okay, so the third habit that will keep you weak if you keep on doing it is if you keep on going against what you know is right. Okay, so one of the things that's going to make you feel awful about yourself, that's going to make you feel weak, is if um, you do the opposite of what you know you should do. So for example, if you know that you should exercise regularly, but you don't do that, right, you choose not to, right, that's going to keep you weak. Because it's going to make you feel, first of all, it's going to make you feel bad about yourself because you 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 know, you set, out, you, you set out goals for yourself to do during the week, but then you don't do them. That's going to make you feel awful about yourself. I know I personally feel bad about myself and that makes me feel weak when I've set out certain goals for myself for a week or for a month and I don't reach them. Or I've got set out my to-do list, right? And I don't, and I, and I don't, for whatever reason, I don't manage to tick everything off my list or I don't do anything, you know? That's one way to make, I know how, exactly how to make myself feel bad and that's to procrastinate and to not do what I know that I should be doing. So make sure 
that you try at least most of the time, let's say like 80% of the time, you do everything that you know that you should be doing and you're doing the right thing, okay? Because if you're doing the wrong thing, then, and you're doing something that's making you feel bad or giving you bad karma, right? That's gonna make you feel awful about yourself. And if you feel bad about yourself, you're gonna feel weak, right? There's a scale um, called the, the, the Hawkins scale and you'll be able to find it in a book called Power Versus Force. And basically one of the lowest vibrations, the one of the lowest vibrations is shame and guilt, right? So if you are constantly in a place where you feel guilty for not doing something, then you're vibrating at a very low vibration. So don't do that because it's going to not, it's going to make you feel weak and it is going to make you um, basically not like yourself very much. And that kind of thing keeps you weak. So the fourth habit that will keep you weak is if you keep on distracting yourself with pleasurable activities instead of doing what you know you should be doing. So if you are always distracting your life, basically you're just trying to dis, you know, keep yourself distracted. For example, if you watch too much Netflix, um, if you play too many video games and you're just avoiding life, that kind of thing will keep you weak as well. Now, of course, it's okay to watch a movie and to watch a TV show occasionally. It's okay to play some video games occasionally. But if it's something that you're doing every day for hours on end, then you need to really look at that and you need to ask yourself, you know, am I just distracting myself with pleasure? And there's that Viktor Frankl quote that I use a lot and that goes, when a man can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. So if you find yourself distracting yourself with pleasure, avoiding things, you know, kind of um, saying, well, at least I'm resting, I'm watching TV, so that means I'm resting. You know, if you, if you find yourself doing that kind of thing a lot where you're avoiding life, you've got to find a way to make what you're doing more meaningful. You've got to find a way to find something more meaningful than the, le the Netflix. Finding something more meaningful than playing video games. Now, of course, if um, playing video games is your job, like let's say you're a Twitch streamer or you're an esports player, then that's fine because it's part of your job. But if you're doing it to just avoid life, to avoid your responsibilities, you need to really take a hard look at that and find a way to bring more meaning and more fire into the things that you know you should be doing. So if you're distracting yourself with pleasure, you probably are keeping yourself weak. And what you've got to think of as well is if you're always doing pleasurable things that feel good, that's keeping you weak, right? It's only through friction and through overcoming, overcoming obstacles do you become stronger, right? Distracting yourself with pleasure is easy to do. It's easy to watch Netflix. It's easy to play video games, depending on the video game that you're playing. But you see, you know, it doesn't require much risk. It doesn't require much, you know, strength to do that thing, especially physical strength, right? So if you're trying to become stronger mentally, physically, you got to do things that are uncomfortable, right? Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be extremely uncomfortable like 100% of the time, but you should at least every single day be trying to stretch past your comfort zone. And if you're not doing that and you're just distracting yourself with pleasure all the time, then that will definitely keep you weak. Okay, so the fifth habit, the final one that I want to talk about, and this is huge, so this is massive, okay? I'm saving the best till last, definitely. The fifth habit that will keep you weak is if you have a habit of not believing in yourself, right? Because if you do not believe in yourself, of course you're going to be weak. Of course you're going to have a weak mentality. Of course you're not going to tackle things with confidence and high self-esteem, with fortitude, of course you're not gonna do that because you don't believe in yourself. So you need to get into the habit of believing yourself. Do a meditation on believing in yourself. Write down affirmations. You know, One of the best ways you can start believing in yourself is if you actually stop procrastinating and you start tackling your goals and you feel like you're making progress. Because if you feel like you're making progress, you will feel better about yourself. If you're not procrastinating, if you're doing everything right, if you're doing all basically all of the things and you're eliminating those first four habits I spoke about, right? You're going to feel so much more confident about yourself. You're going to feel way better about yourself and you're going to believe in yourself more. Okay. So a habit of not believing on yourself, believing that you cannot achieve what you want to achieve, that is definitely going to keep you weak. So try your best to rectify that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.